all Americans are immigrants. Even the Native Americans, the indigenous people, are immigrants at one point or another. So I think that all of us have this hunger in us to know where we came from, We're to jump the pond, as we call it in genealogy, to get across that ocean and know where our ancestors came from and what brought them to America. Um, we teach you to find your way back to the shore here in this country. So it leads us back to our ancestors. It helps us to reach out to them across the pond. The story of the immigrants is written down in the history of people and nations, and the genetic journey further back is told by the magical molecule of DNA that carries the design of life. The genetic travel back into the deep past of every individual, centuries, millennia, hundreds of thousands of years back, is written in the DNA. This is a model of DNA, of a portion of DNA. It's the famous double helix. It looks almost a little bit like a spiral staircase. It has these two backbones, which are made up of phosphate and a particular kind of sugar. And these steps are pairs of bases. In DNA, there are four bases. There's adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine in a particular sequence. That particular sequence is the genetic code. It contains the instructions by which the cell is able to do all of the business that the cell has to do. About maybe one and a half percent of the DNA is the genes. Every individual has a totally unique DNA pattern. This can be considered as a DNA fingerprint by which a person can be identified. And this is applied in many new fields. For example, in searching human ancestry or finding diseases associated with the DNA, even for determining the races of domestic animals. If you don't know whether your pet is a pure breed animal, a DNA test might reveal it. The DNA fingerprint also is an important tool in criminology for identifying individuals committing a crime. The, the field of genetics is almost terrifying. Um, I, I often tell my wife that um, medical ethics is going to be a growth industry because of all the things we're now doing, like cloning for instance, is going to be a problem. But it's rapidly becoming possible now, and I think probably in the next few years, you will be able to, to basically get your entire DNA profile. You'll be able to walk in a doctor's office or a laboratory, and for a relatively minor amount of money, you will be able to get your entire DNA profile so that all the bases will be given to you. And once we have that, and then we can look and see, oh yes, you're susceptible to this disease, you're susceptible to that disease, no, you're not susceptible to this disease, and then it becomes terrifying because at that point you're completely wide open. You know, you in a sense even know your future. You will find this DNA in every cell in the body that has a nucleus. And DNA can be tested by taking the nuclear material from any cell in the body. One of the easiest kinds of uh, cells from which to collect the DNA is the cells that make up the lining of the cheeks. 